So we're going to work with this function marketing messages and inside we're going to have multiple animations that we're going to run in sequence. So we're going to use this function that we call in the UI view class as well and it is animate keyframe with duration and it has the same parameters as for the animate with duration that we used in previous demos. So we have first the duration so that is 10 seconds, we have the delay and we have options as well so that is empty, we use the square brackets and we also have the animations closure. So this is where we're going to add the keyframes. So we have two at the moment. So that is add keyframe with relative start time. So that's pretty straightforward. So we have the first parameter, which is to indicate when we want this animation to start in the animation sequence compared to the 10 second and the relative duration. So that's going to be relative to the 10 second duration of the entire animation. So in that case, that's going to last like 10 milliseconds. For the second animation, the second keyframe, we want to, we want it to start nearer to near the end of the 10 second and to last 5 milliseconds, so that's going to be pretty quick. And we said earlier that we have an outlet which is named message and we want to update the text properly with a message, so that's going to be a string. And you see that we have defined this constant message which is going to be a string that we're going to assign to it and that's going to be a string object objects at a specific index position. So you see that we're using this index parameter and we're going to pass an index parameter, which is going to be an integer to this marketing message. So we're going to be seeing how we can actually use that. So first, what we're going to do is allow this message label to be visible, to fade in actually. So we're going to update the alpha property of that. And so we're going to go to the top. So that's going to be the first step in the process. So we're first going to allow this message label to be visible so when we start the animation so this is at first invisible when the page loads is visible appears so we're going to update to half 0 0.5 so it's going to be slightly transparent so that is a value between 0 and 1 and we're going to set it back to 0 when we finish the animation so that's going to be the sequence for now so the sequence of animation is targeting this outlet, which is empty for now. So what we want is to display messages one after another. So we're going to call this method. So once the animation of the continue button ends, and that's where we're going to update the completion parameter. So we're going to add the curly braces to add this closure. And inside we're going to call self marketing messages. And it takes one parameter. So that's going to be an integer in order to indicate a value. So that's going to be the index that we're going to use for the first position in the array. So that's going to be the first message. So we must always indicate, so if it's true or false, so that's a Boolean parameter. So we're just going to use underscore, so that's also acceptable. And once we pass the index, we're going to be able to refer to the index position of the messages array. In that case, we're going to be displaying the first messages. So we're going to run and build. You're going to see that once the animation of the button is finished, we're going to have this first message, music for everyone. So that's going to last 10 seconds until we reach the end of the animation, and then it's going to disappear very quick, like five milliseconds. So the next step in the animation will be to rotate the messages one after another. So we're going to update as well the completion parameter that we have in that function. So animate keyframe with duration. We're going to call the same function inside. But before that, we're going to need to update the index value because obviously we want to display the next message in that messages array. So that's going to, that's going to be index plus plus in order to increment by one each time. And then we're going to pass this new index value to the marketing messages. And because we have only four objects in that array, we want to make sure that we don't go outside the bounds of the array, otherwise the app will crash. So we're going to check if the index is equal to the count number of the object that we have in that array. So that's going to be count minus one because every array is zero index. So that's going to start at zero to for the last object to be three. So we want to check if the index is equal to three, then reset the index to zero. So once we've checked that the index is not equal to zero, then we can increment by one each time and then this new whichever value that we have assigned to index will be passed to the marketing messages function and then we're going to be able to assign the new string value to the message label so we're going to try that 
first we're going to get the first message so it's going to be fading out and then we're going to pass on to the next message message number two that's going to be another 10 seconds and then fading out and then we pass on to the next message so something which is a little bit off is that the further we go the further down the message is going and that's because i have this line of code right here so i want the label to be going down 30 pixels further down every time we call this method and that's going to be another sequence in the animation that i must add right in the middle so we're going to have another keyframe so right here and we're going to update the value of the y on the y-axis for this message label and we're going to allow this one to start at this time in the sequence of the keyframe so that's going to be 10 milliseconds later and for the relative duration so that's going to be five milliseconds so that's going to be fairly quick so i have this keyframe animations function which is already ready and i'm going to remove these commands so i just need to call this other function which includes another animate with duration so that's going to be another animation which is added into a keyframe so that's going to be very convenient so i'm going to call this one because what i want is for every messages to go up so we're going to have the effect of the message going slightly going up while this is fading in so we're going to call self keyframe animation and also so while the animation is so while the message is invisible we're going to also then again allow the message level to go down in order to keep going up and down so it doesn't just keep going down it's going to go up then down and then up again but that happens in the background so when it's not visible so we're going to see how this looks now. We're going to see the messages displaying and then sliding up every time it appears. The first one, so that's pretty sweet. You're going to see the same happening for the second message. There you go.